So a popular Canadian DJ by the name of Drex recently suffered a sudden heart attack. And well, this comes after Drex has pretty much launched a campaign against anybody who would be against the pinchy. He's had a lot of nasty things to say to people, but now that he's had this unfortunate heart attack, has he changed his tone at all? And what will happen with him now going forward with his radio show? We'll get into all these details. Stick with me, guys. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important. Also, you please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, or the glasses because I'm blind. And as always, if you guys can help donate to my ministry to help support what I do, please visit patreon.com slash conservative truth link down below you guys could sign up there for just five bucks a month to help support me i really appreciate it so this is jack 96.9 in vancouver canada a popular morning show host there by the name of drex well this guy has not been kind as it comes to those who are unpinched and this goes back a year ago that he was putting out all these nasty you know things on Twitter about these people was not wishing them very well at all but let's fast forward to current times here then I'm gonna go back again here in a minute but last week Drex uh, announced that he in fact suffered a heart attack oh, out of nowhere he says that he was at home at the time, he was watching TV, and he said he started feeling what was a an odd sensation throughout his body. He said he felt nauseous and he felt like he had to uh, go take a poopy at the same time. He went to call his husband, that's right, his husband, who was at work and did not answer his call. So instead he called the neighbor and asked the neighbor to call 911 and they had people there to his house within 10 minutes to take him to the hospital where they said he did in fact suffer a heart attack. Now they had immediately put in a stent. They said that one of his arteries was completely blocked, solid. Another one was 80% blocked and then he had a couple of others that were just partially blocked. Now, he later had to have a second stint put in uh, for that artery that was 80% blocked. So now he's got two of these things here on the inside of him. And I want you to understand this because all the while, he has maintained his position here. And I thought this was interesting because he took to Twitter after you know the heart attack had happened to let everybody know. Because again, he's very... Very popular host and on you know you know Canadian radio doesn't mean that he's right in what he's saying and and, and I can you know <laughs> uh, there's a, probably a thousand things that I could say about him that are um, well out of line as far as uh, how it would go with Christian teaching. Nevertheless, he provided all of his fans with an update on his health, and you know you hear that expression "turn about is fair play." Well, that's what happened here. But Drex was not very happy. I mean, he wasn't expecting this response at all from certain people. And I'll get into more about what that response was here, guys, in just a second. And as well as what is Drex going to do from here? First, though, let me put a quick plug in here for my Patreon. You know, guys, I got to do this being I get no monetization on the YT platform. This is the only way I have to let you guys know how you can help support and bless my ministry. And here's the thing. You can do it for just five bucks a month it's simple you go to patreon.com slash conservative truth you sign up there you're going to get notified for all my videos you'll never miss a single one now if you only watch my videos to the yt alert system forget it they are not sending out all the alerts it just does not happen anymore so you're going to miss a ton of my videos if you guys don't go over to patreon plus there is as well you can do this which i really love this feature you can leave all of your comments over there but you can do it completely censorship free. You don't got to worry about YT blocking or removing anything that you guys are saying. That's happening more and more. I have no control over that. They, they could take the most minuscule thing that you say 
and deem it as being inappropriate and your comment is gone. So all the work that you put, all the thought you put into writing that comment out, uh, it's not gonna get seen. So go to Patreon, we can have a nice free flowing discussion there on these topics, uninterrupted, no trolls, none of the nonsense, and you know we can again say what we want over there without you know worry about anything coming down. You can even send me direct messages there. So check it out. I really encourage you guys again. It blesses the ministry here, and you can do it for just five bucks a month. You can do more if you want, but it only takes five to join. It's Patreon.com/slash/ConservativeTruth. Again, the link in the description. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So getting back here to Drex, he posted his health update and he was immediately hit with backlash from uh, the unpinched, the same unpinched who he's been berating and belittling for the past year. And apparently it got so bad because, you know, they were all telling him that his heart attack was probably most likely from him getting all his pinchies. He's promoted this thing you have to understand non-stop ever since it came out on his radio show on social media out and about in public everywhere that he would go so he gets all these comments now saying you see you wish death upon us which he did on those who were not going to get the pinchy you wish death upon us and now you have a heart attack because of the pinchy that's what they told him, among other things too which i'm not going to repeat for various reasons but Drex did not hold back with these people. I mean, he, he said, you guys are, are, are effing morons. You know, shut the bleep up. All of this, I hope that you die. Not only that, but Drex was somebody that was championing and cheering for the pinchy passport. Okay? He loved the fact that they would introduce that in Canada. That you would need that to get into businesses. You would need that to get into restaurants. He thought it was a great idea. He told these people, you can trust the government. You can trust the media. They're not lying to you when it comes to the pinchy. You can put all your trust in them. Wow, is, is, is this guy going to be one of the first ones that lines up to take the mark? Revelation chapter 13? I think so. You need some more evidence of what Drex has done here? He also cheered when people were getting fired from their jobs for not taking the pinchy. He basically said, the heck with your personal choice and your freedom. This is a matter of public health. These are all the nasty things that he has said in the past year. And now he gets this heart attack. And the comments became too overwhelming for him. He, he felt just completely just taken aback. And, 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 and this was no help for his recovery at all. So he has now locked out his Twitter. You see how it is. When you go against people, then all of a sudden something happens to you and then you can't handle it anymore, right? You say, oh, they're being mean to me. I'm sorry, homeboy, but you were the one <laughs> that was out there saying all these things about these people. You didn't have to do that, but you did. You chose to do it. Now, I'm not sitting here happy or rejoicing that this guy got a heart attack. I'm not. I, I, I wish that people would use wisdom when it comes to this, but they don't. The Bible even says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. This is a lack of knowledge. No doubt there's a deception behind it, but still. You can even put evidence in front of these people and they will still choose to believe their lies that are being told to them, even if it comes at the expense of their own health. Now, what is Drex blaming this on? He's not blaming it on the pinchy. He says this has nothing to do with the pinchy. Him having a heart attack, no, nothing to do with that safe and effective he's continuing that but it turns out that the same day that he ended up having a heart attack he had somebody on his radio show that he interviewed that morning that was talking about just men's health in general and how and drex is 43 years old and he said you know i didn't take my health seriously for a long time so he says that because of that that's what led to him having this heart attack now that could be potentially as well but at the same time if you look at the data if you look at all these individuals who have been collapsing lately from heart-related issues and you look to see if they've taken the pinching, it's been linked to that more often than not. 
So he could say it's not related to it in any way, but I think we all know the truth. I think we all know that it most likely is. But he won't admit that. Fortunately for Drex, this didn't end his life. Now, there's always a chance for him to turn his life around, to give his life to Jesus Christ, because I can tell you, this is what he needs more than anything. Is he a vile individual? Has he said horrible, terrible things? Absolutely. But you know what? Think of Paul in the Bible when he was Saul of Tarsus. This was a man who killed Christians and later went on to be one of the, if not the most outspoken proponent of Jesus Christ that there was. I'm not saying that will happen with Drex, but I'm saying that he has a chance. Some people that have followed the same path as Drex have has and bash those who were unpinched, unfortunately suffered, well, an untimely death of their own because of the pinchy. And they didn't have a chance to turn it around, to apologize, to give their life to Jesus, which means they'll be eternally separated from him. And that's sad. That's the saddest thing of, of them all. Because God could forgive you of everything that you say. He can, he can put all of that behind him. If you can come to an understanding of your sin, repent of it, turn from it, and accept him, all of it gets washed away. As far as where Drex goes from here, he has announced that he is taking a hiatus from radio until sometime later down the road in 2023. No exact date has been announced as far as a return goes, as he needs to obviously recover from this. And look, we wish him well. You know, pr pray for the man. Because he, he definitely needs it. I know that's hard to do. Uh, but these are the people that we're trying to reach here in the last days. You know, I was speaking about repenting earlier. You know, this is something that I do on all my videos is that I like to offer people hope. And that hope is in Jesus Christ and you accepting him as your Lord and Savior. And if that's something that you have not yet done, let me tell you what, I want to lead you in a prayer right now to do just that because we are in the last days, the final days, and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. This is your opportunity to give your life to him. Now, the first thing that you want to do, and this is a prayer you can do in your own words, is you want to acknowledge that you're a sinner. That's something that we all are. The good news, though, is this, is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Now, repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then you just go back in your old ways. No, it means to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, those habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.